John Stevens Payton was born on July 28, 1964 to parents Marilyn Stevens Payton and Herbert Payton. Raised in Gainesville, John spent his summers working at the family business in Jacksonville, Gate Petroleum. First job was working in a service station and uh, literally uh, we had full service gas stations at that point. Uh, so I was pumping gas, you know, cleaning restrooms, uh, you know, doing the full service uh, attendant work and I, that was a good pickup job because uh, um, you know, it was pretty basic, low entry. Uh, I could handle that at an early age, so I did that for many, many years. John had an early interest in public service that started in college. I was served as student body president, uh, was fraternity president, uh, left college, uh, went to D.C. Uh, to really test the theory of whether I had an interest in public service and, and worked for Senator Bob Graham. And I will tell you, it was probably that experience uh, that influenced me the most. John returned to Jacksonville and became vice president at Gate Petroleum. He was a member of Leadership Jacksonville, class of 1991, and he went on to Leadership Florida. He was very active in community service, serving on the boards of many civic and charitable organizations. But he wanted to serve at a deeper level. Putting his business career on hold, John announced his candidacy for mayor in 2001. He was elected mayor of Jacksonville in 2003 and at age 38 was one of the youngest mayors serving a major city in Florida at the time. And early in his campaign for mayor, he energized and mobilized a group of young professionals who quite frankly had very little experience in government, politics, and leadership. And in doing so is how I think he helped create and foster a new generation of leaders. That is just but one example of the type of person that John is. Being mayor was a tremendous privilege for me. I, I, I loved being mayor. It wasn't an easy job. In fact, it's a really difficult job. Probably more challenging than I ever thought it would be, particularly when you're governing uh, in the midst of you know, a great recession. We were thrown into a fiscal crisis, in my opinion, um, in short order. And, and, and managing through that and leading through that um, really was difficult. I think John is an example because he didn't have to do any of the things that he did. He didn't have to run for mayor. He didn't have to put a very successful business career on hold. He didn't have to serve as chairman of the symphony during a really difficult time. So he has really led during difficult times, a difficult economy when he was mayor, um, and he didn't have to do that. And I think that he cares about the city and he's really leading by example and is really a, a good example of a true servant leader. I think when people either criticized or made suggestions to John, he would listen. He was open to hearing any insights and thoughts others had to provide to him in an effort to improve his administration and an effort to move the city forward. During his two terms in office, John led the charge on many successful initiatives to build and grow the city. But his focus on the future of Jacksonville may be best demonstrated by his early literacy program Rally Jacksonville. This cutting edge initiative aimed at growing the workforce of tomorrow has reached thousands of four-year-olds and their families thus far and has become a model for other cities to follow. And not only did he really make an impact on early literacy and put the books in the hand of many children, but he changed the way that Jacksonville works together. So for example, that was the first time that all the organizations working on early literacy met and tackled the issue together. And now here we are 10 years after he became mayor, and that is the way of work in Jacksonville. There's a collaborative nature that was not here before the Rally Jacksonville initiative. It's a program that made a difference and hopefully built a platform, a platform for learning that will benefit these kids for many, many years. One month before being installed in his first term as mayor, John married Dr. Catherine Lee Pearson. While in office, John became a father. Twice. Probably the thing I'm most proud of is being a father. I mean, I, that's what I really cherish the most. And I will tell you, I think that's where I'll make the biggest difference is what kind of dad I am. Uh, but fatherhood for me has been a delight, and I will tell you one of the things I'm enjoying now about not being in public service is having the time uh, to be with my family, which is, uh, brings me a great, a great amount of joy and, 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 and a lot of fun, too. If there's one thing that I think people should know is that he's a really funny, funny person.
He loves to play practical jokes on people. He loves to put humor into everything that he does. You know, he doesn't take himself too seriously. He just is a really fun person and he knows how to, how to add that into the work day and into all of the work that he does. And I think it makes you want to work with him, it makes you want to work for him, and it makes you want to get behind the things that are important to him because he's just a really genuinely um, enjoyable person to be around. I think John's legacy can best be summed up in a quote by John Quincy Adams, who said that if your actions inspire others to dream more, to learn more, to do more, and to become more, then you are a true leader. And John Payton has done just that. So it is appropriate that we honor him today because he has created a new generation of leaders that have benefited our community. I think instilling a sense of ownership in a person for their community is um, really about education and, and exposure. I think in Jacksonville's case, um, it is very hard not to have a sense of pride um, and a sense of desire to help improve it once you're exposed to it. You cannot be exposed to all of this and not have a sense for being or having a feeling that you want to be a part of the story, being a part of the story and being a part of the future and helping this place that is continuing to define itself each day um, uh, be a part of your story as well.